Hello, how are you, sir? I'm fine. What's your name? Ramil. Ramil, nice to meet you. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Philippines in Manila. Manila, mashallah. Uh, Ramil, uh, are you Muslim or non Muslim? Non Muslim. Non Muslim. What do you know about Islam? I mean, you are living here in Saudi Arabia. Perhaps you have been living here for quite a few years, yeah, maybe. Yeah, and, and you've seen Muslims around. So, what could you say about Islam? I know all uh, Muslims friendly. Friendly, most of them is a uh, faith of religion for the Muslim. So, so most Muslims you know are friendly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what is your uh, perception uh, of Muslims uh, in modern day media, the Western media? What is your perception when you when you turn on the media? I think this one I cannot answer for uh, you know the situation now, so I cannot answer what for this other media. Good, good, no worries. So let me ask you a, a, a question in regards to belief. Uh, what do you believe in? I believe for uh, Islam, it's, uh, I know it's straight for the faith, for the faith yeah. of the Islam. So you believe in one God? Yeah, I believe in one God. You believe in one God. Yeah. Do you believe that God sent messengers? I think, yes, I believe that as messenger of God. Do you know the name Jesus? I know the name of Jesus. Who is Jesus to you? For the for survivor of uh, people. Do you know, us Muslims, we believe in Jesus, we love him and we follow him? All people he love of Jesus. We should, because he was a righteous yeah. man. Yeah. Do you know that Jesus used to pray? Yes. Who did he used to pray to? I don't know, but I know Jesus is praying. If one prays, that means he is praying to somebody who is more powerful, right? Yeah. So, if Jesus was praying, then perhaps he was praying to the one God. The one God. Yeah, the one God who is praying. In the Quran, we believe that Jesus used to pray to the one God. Jesus said, I am the servant of God and I am the messenger of God. This is our belief in the Quran, yeah? yeah. You know, Jesus came about 600 years before the Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, came 600 years after Jesus with the same message. What do you know about Muhammad? Uh, from now, I don't know for uh, Muhammad now, for the moment. You, you don't know yet. Yeah, yeah. Do you mind if I share with you in brief who he was? Prophet Muhammad was sent 1,400 years ago. He was a regular man just like you and I, until he reached the age of 40. Once he reached 40 years old, that is when he knew that he is a messenger. That is when the revelation came down to him, the inspiration from Angel Gabriel. Do you know the name Gabriel? I know Angel Gabriel in the Quran, I don't see. In the Bible? In the Bible, I know. In the Bible. This is the same angel. Yeah. Angel Gabriel used to come down to the prophets and messengers and he used to convey a message. So he came down to Prophet Muhammad and he told him that he is a messenger. So the Prophet Muhammad from the age of 40 to the age of 63, he was working as a messenger for the one God, the true God. Yeah. He came with a book called the Quran. Did you hear about the Quran? Yes, I hear the Quran. Many. What did you hear about it? Quran, I know, is a... Uh what you call that it's uh, same the, the word it is the word of the one true God you know us Muslims we believe in the scriptures that were revealed to Moses and Jesus Moses he split the sea into two halves and then years later Jesus came and he cured the sick and he brought the dead to life this is all mentioned in the Quran Jesus name is mentioned in the Quran 25 times so we believe that he was a respected messenger. We love him and we uh, follow him, but we follow the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad since he is the last prophet, the last messenger. Let me ask you, do you agree that Muhammad is a messenger? Yes, I agree. Do you agree that Jesus is a messenger? Yes, I agree also. Do you know with this belief you are a Muslim? Yes, I believe as Muslim. You believe in Islam? Do you know that if you become a Muslim, you will enter paradise for eternity? Yes, I know. Would you like to officially become a Muslim? Yes, why not? Great. So we're going to say the testimony of faith, all right? And you, you're doing this from your heart, right? By your own choice. You're not being forced. No, right? no. I Good. So we're going to say the testimony of faith, and that is the first step into Islam. It's like the key to become a Muslim. Since you already have this belief, you believe Jesus is a messenger, you believe Muhammad is a messenger, you believe in one God, that's the Islamic belief. So all you need now is the testimony of faith. So you will repeat after me in Arabic, then I will translate it to English. Ashhadu. 
أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا رسول الله I bear witness there is no God except Allah and I bear witness Muhammad is the messenger of Allah now you are a Muslim Alhamdulillah MashaAllah Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Welcome to Islam my dear brother this is actually a big step you took you know this right have you done this before no it's your first time you seem like you were very inspired and motivated when you said yes mashallah alhamdulillah because you did it from your heart yes allahu akbar in my faith in my faith in my bottom of my heart mashallah you know we're going to stay in touch with you so we could teach you more about islam do you mind if we take your number and contact you later on inshallah Good. So Brother Ibrahim will take your name and number and your Facebook account and inshallah we'll stay in touch with you. What's your name again? Ramil. Ramil. Would you like to change your name or do you love your name? I love my name. You could keep your name. You know that, right? And my name is Rayan. Nice to meet you, Ramil. And Kina Gaga Lakong Makila Laka. Allahu Akbar. MashaAllah.